What's going down, people? How you doing? TK coming at you. Just want to talk to you about an interesting conversation I had on Facebook tonight. I was talking to someone else who said, should they charge for information given the fact that they spend a lot of time and energy learning about whatever it is that they're trying to share with others? And I, I commented that all my information is free. Uh, and I do accept donations. You can waive me uh, at any given time. But I meant that as a joke because, you know, I, I talk about financial empowerment. And I make the suggestion that you should convert fiat money into gold, silver, and Bitcoin because it's worth more than paper. So if someone dismisses that information and doesn't listen, does that negate the value of the information? I mean, so you say, well, F what he's talking about. He don't know nothing. He's not a subject matter expert. And does gold, silver, and Bitcoin not go up in value because you don't listen? Or because I said you should invest in it? So it points to the conversation or the premise of a conversation that we're all programmed to think subject matter expert comes from someone external. You have to refer to uh, the source of your information being somebody else who knows more than you. When you are the best source for your own guidance, all you have to do is go internal and put forth a lot of focus and energy towards whatever you're trying to uh, seek the answer to. So, the false narrative is that a guru has to tell you what to do. Whereas, the information being put out by anyone can help anyone else. I mean, we can all learn from each other. So, the fact that I get two views on my video and most people don't fucking listen, doesn't matter. It doesn't change the value of the information that I share or the fact that financial empowerment does come from focusing on accumulating assets that appreciate over time. And paper fiat currency is not an asset, it's a liability. So you don't gain by sticking to 1% in a bank account, and you don't win financially by keeping your money in cash. So it doesn't matter who listens to that. It's a factual basis whether you listen to it or not. You know, I draw the comparison. If you tell someone a plate's hot and they say F you and touch the plate and still get burned, that didn't change. The fact that they didn't listen didn't change the validity of the warning in the plate being hot. So... You have to get to the point where you're an open book and you're willing to be eclectic with your learning and you just pull information from various sources, use what you can and implement different choices, different strategies so that you can produce results. You know, I listen to my own advice and I see results. I know that gold, silver and Bitcoin is worth more than cash. So typically I save about $500 out of my paycheck and between one paycheck and another paycheck on a two-week basis, at the rate in which Bitcoin has been going up, I gain about $100 on that 500 between paychecks. So it doesn't matter if you want to dismiss the information that I'm giving you. It doesn't change the fact that 500 or 5,000% gains are being uh, realized by people who convert paper money to Bitcoin or gold or silver. So these are tangible, realistic um, choices, really, that you have to make for yourself. It doesn't matter who gives you the advice, who the guru is, or who the subject matter expert that you want to refer to. The idea is to pull information from all sources and make different decisions. And then implement what works for you. Adapt the strategy of learning. Become an open book to whereas you are always adding to your tool belt. You are putting things into your uh, 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 repertoire that can help you. Help you to advance 
And when it comes to financial literacy, you need to really source your information from uh, multiple locations. So it doesn't matter if someone listens to you or not. You're not held responsible for whether or not the seed grows. You just need to plant seeds, walk away, and hope that person is blessed by the time and energy that you spent learning about whatever the information you're putting out. Now, if you are coming from arrogance or you're coming from a standpoint of uh, unlearning where you know, you're putting out bullshit, that's another story. But I don't believe that you have to charge for information. Information should always be free because people are free to choose not to listen or use that information in a valuable way. So I don't agree with the fact that just because you took the time and energy to study something that you should charge other people to access, you know, with great uh, information comes great responsibility. And the responsibility that we have is to empower others. And if you work in accordance with the law of nature, the law of attraction says that giving empowers you. Now, that empowerment may not come back to you in a form of cash, but you are still empowered by giving other people the tools they need to make better decisions. And that's the key to sharing. That's the key to giving is, okay, this information can help you. If you spend cash on gold, silver, and Bitcoin, it can change your life financially, especially if you have a long-term outlook and you're thinking five years down the line. So you build a constant savings in these other asset classes. And now you have a appreciated gain that would be greater than what you would just receive by saving cash in a bank account at less than 1%. So that's a factual item that can empower someone if they act on it. Same thing with the latest information I shared in terms of uh, using fractional reserve banking system and taking commercial instruments and uh, or commercial paper and financial instruments and participating through a law firm in a multiplier that allows you to make quantum easing on your own or make quantum easing become a personal asset utilizing the same principles that the central banks and the one percenters do on a massive scale so no one listened to that information. No one followed through with, wow, that sounds like a good idea. No one even understands the premise to fractional reserve banking to even contemplate the concept in which I just explained. What do you mean you can have a trust that uh, a private or a, uh, a personal protection program uh, uh, issues you multiplier returns? What does that mean? You know, I might as well be speaking Greek because you're not familiar with the terms. But me sharing this information, which you can still empower some people if they're smart enough to fucking research on their own, go through the process of filling out the paperwork, opening up your own trust, pay for the multiplier, and then, wow, now you're living in a, a world of abundance that has nothing to do with the slavery that everyone around you is living in. So, guess what? I do these things for myself. I'm at the point right now where I'm going to pay for the multiplier, send the money to the law firm. I already uh, initiated my trust. So I'm doing it for me. And I don't really give a fuck who listens or doesn't listen. The point is that you were given the opportunity. The point is that I held the gate open and extended my hand and I was willing. That's the only thing I'm going to be judged on. I'm going to be judged on the fact that someone gave me some information. It was slavery chain breaking in terms of this financial pay to live world that we live in and i offered that information to other people because i know it could help them break out of slavery and get out of this debt chain that keeps people with a foot on top of their neck so if no one comes to the shoreline and no one says that the information is valuable to me so fucking what you were given the opportunity to change your life. You were told about gold, silver. You were told about Bitcoin. You were told about uh, multipliers through fractional reserve banking being used on a private level. 
you were given the opportunity to earn money through a trust and establish your own tax exempt payment multiplier. All of that was given to you. Now you choosing to say you're not interested has absolutely nothing to do with me. So I don't think that you have to charge people for information. I think you have to charge people for their personal responsibility to make a decision and change their life. And trust me, if their personal decision is to walk away, then say, God bless you. And go on with the implementation process of your own decisions with the information you tried to share. It's just that simple. I get gains whether you get gains or not. <laughs> I, I mean, it's, it's just that serious. So don't feel like you have to buy into the Western mentality of greed when it comes to charging people for access. Learn what you can to better position yourself. Share that information freely and let the seeds fall where they may.